You know that moment when you're the best each player to ever live? When there's nothing stopping you. When your literal mind surpasses all understanding. Hey, by the way, guys, I am kind of like low key the best at Rainbow Six Siege. Just so that y'all know, I'm going to win. You can't stop! <laughs> can't stop, won't stop. Where the brakes at? I give him that ditty bop. Like, take that, take that, take that, take that. I'ma put in work. I'ma do that ASAP. Throw my faith in rap. But it's say, don't say that, huh? What I'ma turn down for? I feel like Shaq and Nafo. Breaking glass in that back boat. I like Kobe and Toronto, huh? Dropping 81. Yo, I dropped that. Hey, Ricky Bobby, shaking bake, sleeping on it, should've stayed awake, huh? Everybody make mistakes like VJs, try to say my name, it's Minio. Say it with me, Minio. Okay, great, two forks high, raise the stakes, risk it all, I take the hate, it's the winning team, get the Gatorade, my guy good, but he's not safe, no. They try to shut us down, and then they go slide, only thing I'm in is God, and he on my side. That's the confidence of God, yes, he got me. That's why I really feel like you. Yo, no, hey, what's the oh, That's all you got. Come on with it. That's all you got. You can't stop it. Hey guys, Taco here, and we're on the fourth out of five weeks of the Road to SI event. And if there's one thing I've come to know, it's to trust nobody. And sadly, and sadly that, that means, means your friends. friends. All right, chat, I'm going to pretend that I am live streaming because that sounds cool. We are going to spawn peek out on front because we don't want to play this game anymore. Guys, keep shooting at it. Dude, I actually wanted to do that. But no, in fact, it's really my friends that have to be trusting me when I'm trying to play Cali. That's in the video, boys! Which is a heavy burden to bear, Wait, what? but it's not like being a medical professional oh, with lives like, to save. I or had take. another one. Me, eh? Okay. I got ace. Hey, okay. Hopping out. Gonna get blasted. Last. You know, in the Siege community, we like to rail on the inconsistencies while simultaneously playing hip fire DMR, DMR with, with no, no laser, laser sight. sight. That's Jackal's ability. What? Obviously, now being Loki, the greatest each player to ever live, you know I gotta be hitting those headshots with Wumai, the most underrated operator in Seed. You to run out this door and look to your right. Let me give you some insight in the world of content creation. If you want views, you gotta play the most underrated, straight up, downright horrible stuff in the game and make it look easy. Oh, on. There we go. I'm gonna go for here. Oh! Yeah. In Road to SI, there's a lot of blowhards that claim to be plats, but just play Ash. I'm looking at you, Bino Rodriguez, but it's also full of casuals that wouldn't touch ranked with a 30 yard grounded pole that also play Ash. But my point is is that you gotta use difficult, or should I say skillful maneuvers to get across to your opponents that you are in fact joining Bolo Team tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> but look, I'm still imperfect and I will still get things wrong, but I will always make a comeback. Bruh, yes, do you literally not know what a SAFTA is? Isn't it uh, like a priest for Jew? Hey Google, okay, what is a Sapta? Spawn peek at a front door while I spawn peek upstairs. Bro, literally, you don't know what a Sapta is? Hey Google, what is a Sapta? And when I'm on break from being the best each player ever in the world, I will occasionally have a laugh with the boys. Check, 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 check. I like how he just turned into a whole bunch of mumble raps just in like five seconds span. <laughs> but you know, I won't be here forever. So I have to train up the best of the best so that one day they can compete for my title. All right, Warden, come on, son. Let's go. Warden. Lieutenant Warden, get up. I'm gonna run. All right, men. Run for our lives so we can do some exercise. All right. Three, two, one, go. No. <laughs> and lastly, sometimes you will meet some toxic people. And it doesn't matter if you were toxic first. You still need to show them up and show them who's boss. Oh, I guess you can get in there. Yeah. Oh, you see him. What? Oh, I, I won't. 
I wall banged him. You wall banged a guy while trying to shoot I, him. I, oh, wow. baby. Wall banged and then killed the guy. Literally, I said, like, can we put down our weapons? And I literally just, like... Get in, get in, uh, get in the beat. Oh, <laughs> Okay, I'm dropping the act now. I know that I am not the best each player in the world, and nor will I ever be. And also, I know that there's a lot of gold twos out there that have already searched up my name on R6 Tracker and are typing in the comments Damn. as we speak, saying, Ha, you're not the best each player in the world, and I can't prove it. I would I would do something like Diamond and uh, Champion and KD. So, the new stadium map is an infusion of two of the greatest maps in Siege, Border and Coastline. When you first jump in, you feel like its majority is coastline. But if you walk right out of a room, you're in border and vice versa. The chemistry between the two maps are pretty dang exceptional. In front, you have regular old border. But then, boom, you have stairs from poolside of coastline. Which sheds off a lot of time for the attacking side to get to big wall. But that's not the only spot where you can shed off time. On border, west vehicle entrance feels like about two miles away from the actual building because there's a lot of obstacles that you have to vault over or run around but in the stadium map besides the spawn peaking shields front entrance is a runway and you're the 757 with armory being the most popular site defense doesn't really expect an entire squad led by finca to be thundering up the stairs 10 seconds into the round now this might feel as though this is a mistake on the developers part for letting the defenders be sitting ducks but here's the thing, since taking the stairs is somehow now the fastest thing to do and lightning mcmeming up the stairs is so popular because of how fast it is, attackers who want to get the jump on their opponents tend not to look up or around much. And that's where you operate. There's a little gray area in there and that's where you operate. If you happen to be running on 12 cans of monster gaming fuel and are about to collapse due to heart failure, then running out on balcony is your best option. But if you prefer being in the attacker's blind spot, then hiding in ventilations or workshop and coming up behind, starting with the guy in the back, you can really do some damage. Now, I didn't really want to talk about 2.0 stadium map just for the Russian capabilities, because it also has some problems. The main problem is an entire chunk of the map is a huge cold spot. And if you don't know what a cold spot is, then that's completely fine. It's more used in competitive play. But it's a very simple idea. These are places in a map where people don't really like to travel in or take up positions, because it has a lack of protective cover and places to directly challenge the enemy. These are places that roamers like to go and wait out the round, and attackers that want to enter the building without being in a firefight immediately. And the direct opposite are places that are common for people to take up positions in. That's called a hotspot. See when I said it was a simple idea? In Stadium 2.0, Hookah Lounge, oh, Sunrise Bar, and Bathroom are all cold spots. Now if you go there when you're on attack or defense, that's good, but they're just not places of contention. Usually. Unless, of course, it's an objective. The reasons for these are, Sunrise Bar is too closed in to even think. Bathroom is too deep into the map, and is used more for a place to fall back on. Hookah is not a site, so people use it only as access to the other sites. Also, downstairs outside is one of the most unappealing places to spawn at for it being too long to even get upstairs. And also the fact that it is 20 feet below the surface. Again, if you go to these places, that's great. I'm not even blaming Ubisoft for this because they had to have a relative balance of the two maps. So I think they're in a good place. But they're too closed in and they're not really a crucial point of the map. The upstairs, in my opinion, is one of the best places to defend or attack. Armory and Penthouse with being in completely different maps, and not to mention they're in completely different continents, but they're all in great positions in the map. Armory has Big Wall, which is a great spot to fight over that isn't one-sided. And Penthouse has many places that attackers can enter in, but also plenty of spots that defenders can hunker down. I think altogether that I would give Stadium 2.0 an 8 out of 10. And I'm not being generous, I genuinely believe that this is a great map. And like 1.0, the first one, I wish that this map would be in actual casual rotation. But I know it only has its magic when it's in Road to SI. And I look forward to it every time it comes around. Before I go, you guys are probably interested in the background music I'm using right now. Well, it's not actually from, you know, Artlist.io or the other spots, which are completely viable. 
but I wanted something that was truly original to the channel. And so, I reached out to a buddy of mine, Asher Rhymes. He's a music YouTuber that usually does covers with about 55 subscribers. And the goal was to have some original content, but that was also boosting some other creators. Now, for the people who watched my last video are probably wondering, why didn't he shout him out then? And that's because I wanted to get people's raw opinion on it before I credit it to someone else. With real thoughts and emotions. Because I have none. So it would really mean a lot if you went over there and checked him out. So, here is the official credit. I hereby announce this background music, 2021, all rights reserved. Have a good day. This one is over, thank you for watching. I'ma go and grab a taco. I can finally play some Siege now. Thanks for all the love. Like, subscribe, and drop a comment. Wondering, will they share this video? More than three friends. Talkers. Oh, oh, oh.